Hey everybody, it's Chris Loud. Today I'm going to show a fun little warm-up project. In this video I'm going to share a sped up demo where I create abstract mixed media art by giving recycled items new life. What I'm working with right now is a, a piece of homemade collage paper that I made uh, with uh, paper from a sugar bag and acrylic paint. So I cleared my palette after I was done painting one time and just uh, put that paint down on the back of this uh, uh, old sugar bag and um, just kind of left it alone and I've, I've got a whole bunch of these uh, homemade collage papers and just grabbed this one and, and thought I would uh, play around with it. So the, the main pieces are this paper and then I'm also going to be using netting from some fruit packaging um, that some, some little oranges came in. So I had really no idea what I was going to be doing with it. I just started playing with these and uh, seeing what I could work out. I also bring in a piece of a, another piece of uh, paper that's an old sugar bag, a uh, different kind of sugar bag, obviously with the orange, uh, and played with that just a little bit, moving it around, seeing if I could work that in. Um, but ultimately decided it didn't really fit um, the other colors well. Um, wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it, so I, I put that aside. But like I said, didn't really know where I was going with this, so I just started um, playing with these two pieces of homemade collage paper and trying to find very quickly uh, somewhere to put those down. I'm using, uh, like I said, homemade collage paper uh, from paper with that sugar bag and acrylic paint, netting from some fruit packaging, which I'll bring in later in the video, uh, acrylic gel medium to fix that to the surface, um, watercolor pencils, water soluble wax pastels, watercolor paint, and a Pigma Micron pen. Um, I played with watercolor pencils at first and decided to move over to pastels and ultimately at the end I, I started uh, playing with watercolor paint. So at this point I, I uh, had an idea of where I might be going um, based on how this looked when I laid it down. It kind of had uh, almost a, an ocean kind of look to it or a lake look to it. So I thought I would sketch in um, just a very rough and loose uh, boat uh, on the shore. And um, I've been watching some videos on YouTube lately um, on Toby Sketch Loose channel. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. Um, who does urban a lot of urban uh, sketching. And so I've just been playing with that a little bit and thought uh, this, this looked like a good opportunity to, to play with that, uh, with this boat. And uh, I'll bring in another little boat here in a minute. Um, and just making some marks to give the kind of illusion of uh, a beachy area and then uh, kind of a uh, horizon line uh, and uh, kind of where the, the waves are, are coming ashore a little bit. But I didn't want to spend a lot of time on that. It was just very rough and loose. Um, but you can see uh, in the top, there is a, a little bit of kind of a sunset look. So I kind of went, went with that as well. So this is the netting from the uh, fruit packaging. And I thought that kind of worked with the boat and the, and the water, kind of like fishing net. Um, this is one that I've used with uh, a jelly plate making some some prints with that and it's a great uh, great tool to to make prints with um, but uh, I had that laying around I thought well let's let's see if I can work that in as well so that's my my second piece of recycled uh, material I just kind of cut that up uh, after I pulled the uh, oranges out and um, what I found is that when I'm putting that down and uh, and uh, trying to fix it um, Normally what I do is with paper, I'll use a catalyst wedge or some kind of squeegee to kind of get the bubbles out and press that down. But obviously with this netting, that wasn't really gonna work. So um, I'll bring in some, um, some parchment paper or in other parts of the world, I think it's called baking paper um, right here and, and just kind of pressed it and, and rubbed that down to, to get that to uh, stick. So I let that sit and dry um, and um, Again, just kind of kept playing with some marks with that micron pen. But at this point, I, I started to feel like I had a pretty clear direction where I was going. I wanted this to remain abstract, uh, but also liked um, putting in little little uh, fun things to, to look at if, if you're 
kind of up close and looking. So I, I decided to put another fishing boat out uh, in, in the water. And again, just doing a very quick and loose sketch. So although I, I don't use recycled items as often as I would like, um, whenever I do, I really enjoy it. Um, so I've, I had a really fun time with this one. And using recycled materials kinds of kind of requires you know thinking outside of the box and finding new ways to use things we we might normally discard and that kind of stimulates your creativity and it really encourages you to be more innovative plus it's it's fun to try and, and come up with ways to transform everyday objects like this into to something entirely new and artistic like the uh the fruit, the netting from the fruit bag, you know, I'm looking at that thing and this would be really cool to put a piece, but I really had no idea how I would do it or what, how I would use that. Um, but as soon as it, you know, the, the uh, collage paper kind of looked like water, that instantly gave me the idea of, of uh, kind of a fishing net. And pieces like this one are, are great for experimenting and, and playing and, and coming up with new ideas and really overall just, you're just warming up. Plus the obvious reason, you know, of using recycled materials promotes sustainability and and reduces you know the waste that you're you're um, throwing in your in your bins. And engaging in art with a positive environmental impact can can give you a sense of fulfillment and and kind of contribute to a greater awareness of I don't know, like environmental issues, I guess. And every time I I, I do this. Um, I feel like the piece is just so unique. Um, so let me know, uh, you know, in the comments if you use recycled items or found objects in your art, and if so, what what kind of items do you use? So I'll give you a little close up here of that boat, and then just trying to fill in some of those those spaces in the netting, giving a little bit of color there. So if you like this, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, other tutorials, art challenges, feel free to subscribe. And on this one, I typically show uh, different orientations, but because this had kind of a specific orientation, I'll just show you the, uh, the uh, final painting coming up here. But uh, check out Toby Sketch Loose if, if you like uh, if you'd like to learn to, to do some sketching, it's a pretty pretty great site. So here's the final the final painting. Thanks for watching and keep on painting.